video is a Revolve haul, or a uh, For Love and Lemons haul, or a Love Shack Fancy haul, or a, really it's just a very expensive designer haul that gets you about 10 pieces of clothing for $5,000. Yeah, pretty crazy, right? Today's video would not have been possible if it weren't for the sponsor of the video, which is Honey. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with Honey. It's a shopping tool you download for your browser. It's free to use. It searches the web for promo codes, discount codes, applies them at the checkout and saves you money. My friend Lucy and I were talking about expensive brands that we like, and we mentioned For Love and Lemons and Love Shack Fancy, and uh, we were talking about how, whoa, they're so nice, but I could never afford to buy anything from there because it's rather expensive. And then I had this genius idea where I cast my mind back to this video that I did last year about the Iconic, which is uh, an Australian store similar to Revolve or the Outnet, you know, that sort of thing where they sell designer brands. And that video that I posted was sponsored by Honey. And I thought if Honey would sponsor me again, maybe we could buy some things from uh, Love Shack Fancy and for Love and Lemons. So I sent them a sneaky little email and told them my idea. And I said, hey, I know that Honey works on Revolve because, uh, I've been on Revolve many times and that little honey icon has flashed at me and been like, you want some savings? <laughs> and I've never bought anything up until now. So I emailed them and said, I'd like to shop on Honey. Would you like to sponsor a video? And they said yes. So thank you so much to Honey for working with me on this. There's nothing I love more as a content creator than working with a brand that I already use and I've been using Honey for years. If you guys want to give it a try, go to joinhoney.com slash pretty pastel and uh, start saving money. It's as easy as that. So I bought about 5000 dollars worth of stuff. Well, that's what my cart total came to. And then with Honey, I saved around 300. So it's a pretty decent saving. And then obviously me being me, when I realized I was saving $300, I was like, I'm going to add another item to my cart. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's, it's about $5,000 worth of clothes here. And like I said, would never have dropped that sort of cash on a website if it weren't for the sponsor of the video. So again, if you'd like to try out Honey yourself, go to joinhoney.com slash prettypastel. And with that, I'm gonna call in my friend Lucy because she helped me to pick some of these items. We've got a nice selection. We've got, this is for Love and Lemons here. We've got Love Shack Fancy. We've got uh, some other brands over here that I, I don't really know, but they were still very expensive. If you've been thinking of purchasing anything from any of these brands, hopefully this will be a good indicator for you as to whether or not you should splurge that extra money on a designer piece from one of these brands. Lucy and I, neither of us have ever shopped from any of these brands before. This is not the sort of thing that I would purchase on a regular basis, but if you're thinking of purchasing some of these items, we'll give you our first impressions. Without further ado, Lucy, I know you're excited. I'm excited, but I'm also scared. It's really expensive! I know, it's so exciting. I always feel like we shouldn't, are we allowed to approach? The clothes are like, don't look at me. <laughs> They're like a diva clothes. They're like, no eye contact. <laughs> The Please. Mariah. We got these things in a couple of different sizes. We got yeah. small for me, medium for you. I'm like a small to a medium. With some of these brands, I'm like probably a medium. Yeah, depending <laughs> on the brand. I don't know, they give off the energy where they're like, oh, sweetie. <laughs> Here you're in medium. <laughs> like, I know, that's, but you know what I mean. Like, I you, like the sizing is like weird for some of these brands. Like some of them, are like, oh, that's that's a medium. <laughs> really? That's what you think I, a well, medium is? Like that scene from Mean Girls, <laughs> where she's like, oh, we only carry sizes one, three, and six. Yeah. And Regina goes shopping. Oh gosh, I have flashbacks. So here you go. We've got a two piece set Ooh. for you. So this is for Love and Lemons, and it's beautiful. I regularly go on their website so much that they've captured my data and like send me emails being like, hey, you like put something in your cart. And I was like, I didn't forget. I just can't afford it. <laughs> this is so, so cute. You try that one on and I'm also going to try on a two piece, but I think that this, this is from Love Shack Fancy, this one that I'm going to try. I feel like we were up late <laughs> on a oh. phone call. <laughs> yeah, we were online. We were talking about it and we stayed up for like two hours and we just like went through the whole Revolve website. And then I think eventually I fell asleep. Some of those pieces I'm like, I have no recollection of Yeah, you <laughs> fell asleep and then I picked a couple more things. <laughs> How about you go get changed? I need oh. to tell them a story yes. okay. because I completely forgot to tell you guys this. It might seem obvious to an experienced online shopper, but to me, I didn't really think about this. I put through my order and they're supposed to offer like two to three day express shipping. So I put through my order before the cutoff time and I sat back and I was like, yeah, okay, just dropped five grand. <laughs> and the confirmation email came through. And then an hour or so later, another email came through and it said, sorry, we've canceled your order for fraudulent activity. And I was like, 
what? It turns out that because I used a different shipping address to my billing address, they cancelled my order because they thought I was doing crime. Uh, it was because, <laughs> because it was $5,000 worth of clothing, I didn't want to send it to my address because a parcel might arrive on my door and then someone could very, very easily take it. So I had it sent to my parents' house, which is a lot safer. And uh, yeah, because they were two different addresses, they cancelled my order. So I contacted them and I was like, um, can I just put that through again, please? Like, I need to use two different addresses. I really don't want to get it sent here. And they were like, no, sorry, you have to use the same address for shipping and billing. And I was like, okay, but my card details, I can't just change the details associated with my bank account. And they were like, sorry, you're gonna have to get it shipped to the address that is associated with your bank account. And I was like, ugh. It was a whole deal. So then I had to go back on the website and re-add everything to my card. And then by that time, some things were sold out. So then I put through the order again and then it missed the cutoff time. And then it took like a week to get here. Moral of the story is, uh, if you want to shop on a website like Revolve and you're gonna be spending a bit more money, you have to use the same address for shipping and billing. And then I'm like, why do they, even you the option to use a different address? Why is there an option if you're not allowed to use two different addresses? Anyway, just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there. Lucy's ready. <laughs> just admit wow. that you did fraud, Alex. Just admit that you did crimes. I did crimes. I'm guilty. <laughs> guilty as charged. You look amazing, Lucy. No hey. spoilers. No spoilers? Okay. Change, I'll avert my eyes. All right, here we are in our very expensive <laughs> two-piece sets that I feel like uh, I'm an imposter and I shouldn't be wearing this. I feel like, okay, for any K-pop fans out there, this is giving me like red velvet or like twice energy. I think because it's like a matching set, it feels like I'm kind of in a costume. <laughs> yeah. Teach me a K-pop move. Just something quick. Okay, okay yeah. What's a K-pop um, move? Oh gosh, I'm like, I've got to make sure I get it right. I don't want to be exposed to being a fake fan. You make me feel special. You make me feel special. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're a girl. Or you could do the like the peekaboo. That, that's easier. So one foot in front, bopping it like that. So one, two, one, two. Hands on your hips. One, two, one, two. <laughs> I'm We're excited for our debut. <laughs> SM Entertainment, send us an email. We're ready anytime. <laughs> Make me feel special. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to me, I think that this piece is a little bit more wearable than that one. Because this is so, like, quite intense. I feel like, I don't know, I look like I'm in, like, a marching band. A kind of, like, a, a sensual marching band. <laughs> I really like the skirt. The skirt is really cute. The skirt's beautiful. Um, I, I'm not the biggest fan of the top. It's just so specific. The length is a bit awkward. Like, I'm not obsessed with it. Feels really nice. Mm -hmm. Is this linen? I have no idea. Tell us your secrets, expensive garment. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here we go. <sighs> Uh, oh, here we go. 74% oh. viscose, 14% linen, 10% cotton, 2% spandex. Okay. There's a lot going on there. It's a little cocktail. Okay, so there, there is linen. The skirt is absolutely stunning. Yeah. The embroidery is beautiful. Really pretty, yeah. The details on these garments are really nice. The one that I'm wearing has little wooden love heart shaped so buttons. Cute. Yeah. That's really, really cute. A little bit unusual, but see how it's so heavily it's frayed? Finished hem. Obviously, yeah. it's meant to be like that, but I can just imagine my mum being like, What happened to your clothes? <laughs> Why are they oh. broken? I nearly bumped into the expensive garment. I'm sorry, please I'm don't sorry. hurt me. <laughs> please spare my life, King. <laughs> so let's talk about price. When we went through and we were ordering these things, obviously because we had a sponsor, we weren't concerned with the price so much. So I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> looking. I wasn't looking. I was just like, that's pretty. Add, add, add. So I don't. I really was like, oh, yeah, okay. I don't really remember right. the prices. I think that each of these pieces, two hundred dollars, would be like a. Yeah, I what you'd expect. I do you think it's worth two hundred dollars? Yeah, I do. It's really? actually yeah. lovely. Okay. Feel this. It's so beautiful. I think the the waffle text is nice. The print's nice. The buttons are nice. I don't think it's not worth it for two hundred, but I would expect to pay maybe like one fifty, like oh, just okay. a little bit yeah. less. It's finished nice. It's well, finished really nicely, and also yeah. the fit of the skirt. Something I it's noticed pretty. with this Love Shack Fancy, every skirt I looked at from Love Shack Fancy, they were all beautiful. The way that they sit on the hips and then the, the, the length of them too, they were all a really flattering length. Like they're not too short, they're not too long. The way that they drape, it's a really flattering drape. It's like an A-line kind yeah, of. Yeah, it is. It's super fun. It's so I really nice. Like it. yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd say 200 and something for each piece here. Do you want me to go? Yeah, can you have a look? Let's see. Uh, so the skirt is three fifteen, yep, and the top is three seventy. I don't know if that was the original price, but it's what is on the invoice. So it could have been more originally. So six hundred, six hundred and fifty for that. Uh, 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 
Look, if you've been thinking about purchasing from Love Shack Fancy for a while, and there's something that you cannot live without, at least based on this two-piece set, I would say the quality is great and you wouldn't be disappointed with the quality. Mm, yeah. Wouldn't be disappointed with the fit either because I think that they put a lot of thought into the way that it fits on the body, the way that it drapes. I think it's lovely. Yeah. That's always the thing I feel like with designer stuff. Like you feel it and you're like, yeah, like it feels good. When something feels like it shouldn't be designer, that's when you're like, really? Mm. I think that it, that's a bit much personally for like what it is because I think they have other dresses that are more... Like, Love Shack Fancy have some dresses that are like $600, which are really expensive, but they're like full maxi dresses with like embroidery and everything yeah. like that, and this is a bit more of like a casual piece for them. Yeah. It's, I, it's nice. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's, it's also beautiful, but it's, it's, it's expensive. That's a lot of money. What about yours? What um, do you think yours is worth? From my knowledge of the brand, I think each item would be under 200 I think for Love and Lemons, it's in that like 100 to $300 price range per item, because they do laundry and stuff as well. That's oh, cool. their laundry is so it's pretty. It's really, really pretty. It keeps getting advertised to me on Facebook, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I want it. <laughs> so I want to say that I think under 200 the skirt's really nice. I really, really like the skirt. Like, I'm actually like, oh, I would consider like, You would consider it? For 200 Um. It's a lot. But it's, it's lovely. But it's lovely. Like, it's quite a classic style. Like, yours is really cute too, but I don't know if it's... Yeah. It's a bit more of a, like, specific look, whereas I think this is maybe a bit more... Classic. The top, I'm not fussed no. I think it's maybe a little bit big. It is too big on you. It's a medium, yeah, yeah. right? You would yeah, probably I'd probably get a small in that. It yeah, would need to be, like... A medium? But the, the sleeves are almost fitted, and I think if I got the sleeves smaller, it would be... So maybe mm. it's just, like, how it fits on, like, my body type. And that's okay. But the skirt, it actually has a little bit of room at the back. Okay. Yeah. It's comfy as a medium, but I could potentially go to a small. So, yeah. Mm. All right. Let's I might see. be in between sizes. Let's see how much yours was. <laughs> okay. So, your top, 250. The skirt, 230. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's only $30 different for the skirt. And I think if it went on sale for, like, 150 I would buy it. Yes. But I think at the price, I'm like, ooh. Nice. And that's the thing, like, you never get to try this stuff on unless you buy it a lot of the time. That's so right, it's cool yeah. that because Revolve do returns and stuff. It's, yeah. It's nice to actually, like, try it. We and... would not have access to these brands no. if it weren't for Revolve. <laughs> it's so risky to purchase something and just mm -hmm. flat out be like, I'm committed to this even though I've never tried it. So <laughs> a, a company like Revolve that yeah. offers free returns, it's great. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I should mention, because I know in the States you can try on Love Shack Fancy in physical stores. We don't have any of that here. <laughs> so we can only buy it online. So Revolve is, like, the only place where you yeah. can, like, return it. I think it looks nice like the overall look is nice I think the quality is nice I think there'd be a lot of people that would see this two-piece set online and would think I want that but it's so expensive yeah. and I don't know if it's worth it I think that if you really love it and you want to buy it mm. you'll be really really happy with yeah, it. yeah I think so too okay next items let's have a look at some dresses perhaps this one is from Love Shack Fancy and now that it's actually here it's a little bit culty, and I, I don't really like it anywhere near as much as I liked it on the website. Give you a big flower crown. Just tell Dan to watch out for theirs. <laughs> Your one is obviously the same design yes. as the two piece, but in the dress version. Mm. I'm excited for this. The dress I'm like more oh, obsessed look. with. Oh, yeah, the and sleeves. the tie. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, the dress version is more. That's like, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's yeah. try. Let's try it on. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right, well, here's my uh, Love Shack fancy dress. It's, uh, it's a confusing one for me. On the one hand, I do really, really like it. I think it's very well made and the colors are stunning. There's this embroidery detail on the sleeves here that's beautiful. Actually, the whole thing is embroidered and you can really see there's a lot of effort and attention to detail put into this. There's not a single thread out of place and I checked this time in another video of mine where I was reviewing Olivia Rubin clothing. I was like, there's no threads out of place. And then I look there and there's just there's something hanging and I was like, huh, never mind. But this, no, I, I've checked and it looks perfectly executed it is beautiful but also something about the fit of it is uh, a little bit too cake topper i don't know i don't know how to describe it i feel just like a little a little doll i think it's maybe the baby doll it's very baby doll very baby doll i think it looks really nice on you though i think it looks cute it looks as good as it could possibly look on you can you button me up of course are you still no, no you're done oh wow <gasps> your dress is beautiful i don't know if this is going to fit i think i got this in a a size yeah, zero. This was the last one left on their website, and uh, it's one size too small for me. If you got a size up, I think it wouldn't be as little. Yeah. It's weird how small. that works. Yeah. Let me put my hair back so you can see the neckline. It's 
yeah, it's tied across here because it's not exactly my size, but also if it was one size up, I, I don't think I'd like it anymore. Mm. I like it. Don't get me wrong, I do like it. I think it's very cute, but also it's, um, yeah, like I said, I feel like uh, I could be put on a stake and burned alive. But it's, yours, ah, yours, oh my god, yours is incredible. I love this. This is way better than the two. I think set. this is way cute. But is it not the same top? Almost. Where's uh, your top? No, it's not. It's because the other one had like three quarter length sort of sleeves, but this has big puffy chiffon sleeves, which is, I think, a lot cuter. I, oh, I really like it. It's, you look incredible. I feel like I look like a little fairy, like, goblin. Well, I am a goblin, but now I'm like fairy fashion goblin. Fairy fashion goblin. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, they, yeah, but yeah. both of them have that, well, actually, yeah, the collar is a little bit different. This collar mm. is a bit chunkier, yeah. but that's just something about the way that that top is fitting. It's much more flattering than this mm. one. Also, that one is the lace up at the front, whereas yeah. this one had the buttons at the front. It's beautiful, yes. Lucy. You look amazing. Yeah, I <laughs> but yeah, I, I think I look a lot here in this one. This one I think that suits, suits you. Me a lot Actually, more. you should. That's the sort of thing where if you saw that online and you were thinking about buying it and you bought it, you would just be so delighted. Yes, <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. I think it's probably expensive, but it's the kind of thing where it was like it was a special occasion, like if it was like a milestone birthday. Like this is the kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, twenty first birthday. Yeah, or something. I mean, again, it's still really really pricey, but I think for like a special occasion or something like that, it's the kind of thing where. It's sort of classic in a way. The sleeves are so cool. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get a close up of those sleeves. I love that. Ah, oh, this is so cute. The sleeves are a very, very fine mesh fabric and it's almost like a cheesecloth level mesh. It's so thin that you literally can't even tell it's mesh. It's just like, it's like a force field. It's like magic. It's I don't so know. cute. And look at the embroidery. The embroidery, the uh, thread has a little tiny bit of shimmer to it. It's a little bit shiny. Oh, the sleeves, the way that they mm. sit, the structure. I feel like it's that- It's comfy too. It's not too tight. Yeah, and little lace-up details, really cute. Also, turn around. We've got this Sailor Moon kind of neckline here, like Japanese schoolgirl pinafore thing. Oh my gosh, that's probably one of the nicest dresses I've ever seen. So down to the nitty gritty now, let's talk about the price. Uh, I think this dress I'm wearing is probably a $600 dress because look at this embroidery. Mm. I, I think it's a $600 dress. But separate from that, I don't think either of us are obsessed with it. No, I, I don't think it's worth $600, but I think it is $600. $600. I think it's like worth like $400. Have a look, how yeah. yeah, much is it worth? Okay, this was $553 Australian. Yeah, checks out. I'm not yeah, surprised that's... by that. You know the brand, yeah. <laughs> the two piece I was wearing before when you told me the price, I was like, oh, sorry, what? But this makes sense to me. It's a designer brand. It's really well executed. Mm. If you are obsessed with it and you want to splurge, you won't be disappointed. It's very cute, very sweet, but uh, I think I think that one, that's way nicer. If that was $600, yeah. I'd be like, sign me up. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is maybe, I want to say it's like 350. Really? I think it'd be three, under 400. Okay, I all right. Say. I, hope, see. I hope for my bank account's sake, maybe it's 400. Oh, it's 375. Wow, what a steal. <laughs> By the way, guys, we're talking in Australian dollars. Ah, yes, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> if that was US, Crazy that'd be, like, yeah, that's probably like 250, like 280, something like that. Oh, yeah. US dollars, something like that. I want that, and I we, want it. We got it in a medium. Yeah. That was one of the last ones left mm -hmm. on Revolve, I'm pretty yeah. sure, but I'm gonna scour the internet and try and find that in a small because I definitely want that. That's the sort of dress, if I paid $370 for it, yeah. I'd be like, well, that's okay because I'm going to wear it so often. Like anytime I have a really special occasion, a brunch, high tea, wedding, yeah. whatever. Like you can just, that's a dress you can just pull out anytime. I mean, I'm hesitant to be like investment pieces. Like it's an investment. I'm like, yeah, no, no, an investment is like stonks. <laughs> <laughs> like an investment is like <laughs> not a Chanel bag. I'm stonks. I think for me, yeah, like you said, I'm like, I would buy this and then I feel like I would pull it out. But yeah. Yeah. Special occasions. Oh, it's so beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, okay. All right. right. We should move on. Let's move on as much as I can. Move on with our lives. Oh, you know? so we have a, an awkward situation uh, here. This is annoying. So we got these knit pieces from For Love and Lemons, and this cami here was supposed to have a matching cardigan that had these little flowers all over it. And we did add the cardigan to the cart, and what turned up instead was a second one of this, <laughs> which is actually $150 cheaper than the cardigan. Yeah. But I paid for the cardigan, and I messaged their customer support days ago, and they never got back to me. So I'm like, no, don't ghost me, please. <laughs> you know, I will probably put on the second one as well. Yes. Uh, do we have some skirts we can wear them with um, that would actually look nice? Oh, oh Lucy, that looks so cute. Really? <laughs> that that combination looks the good. Combo, the combo <laughs> is cute. I don't love this. Don't you? Oh, I 
they are. It's so cute. It's adorable. They look very different on Dude. us. Like, yeah, they, like, these are, well, they're the same looks size. Yours fitted. Mine looks kind of baggy. They're the same size. Yeah. Okay, which is, yeah, they're, they're both yeah. medium. How funny. They look so different it on looks, the both of us. But it looks really scrunchy on me in, like, not a good way. But I think it's meant to be like that. Well, also, you have a lot more here than I do. Oh, so that's probably Ugh. bringing it up a bit. It's changing the fit, definitely. I think they're very cute. They're really soft. Do you, are these made of wool? I feel like they might be made of wool. Uh, acrylic, acrylic polyester poly nylon spandex. There we go again. Yeah, I, mean, I always think nice something's blend. wool. I'm like, oh, it's soft. It's wool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice, but like, again, not all, not all synthetics are created equal. So it's a nice synthetic blend. But I think if it had the cardigan, I would like it. How much did you say it was? Let me check. 141. That's, That's a, a bit much. That's not worth it. I think it. if it was like 80. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this, because of the little flower and border and stuff, it was 80. Australian, so like 50, 50 US, US, something like that. I would, that would but that's be like okay. 100 US. So that's a fair bit. No, I don't think it's worth it. If it was little... part of a set, you know, if the cardigan if... and the cami yeah. were together, it was a set and you could only buy it as a set. I'd yeah, be like, fair. Let me check the cardigan price. The cardigan is $272. <laughs> that's Here, come, so silly. come closer. It's cute. I don't. I wouldn't wear it on its own, personally. Yeah. I think, like you said, with the cardigan the that's supposed to come with it, it would be nicer. Mm. I still think it's really, really lovely. I really like the colour. And also the, the embroidery. It's beaded in... Oh, look, the I'll show you. The aesthetic is really cute. Yeah, zoom in. <laughs> Not too close. <laughs> the sequin flowers are so pretty. I can see where the expenses come in. It feels really nice and, you know, this probably takes a lot of time to do. This is not machine mm -hmm. made, it's hand sewn. Mm -hmm. They look really nice with the skirts and mm. if you are super into the brand and, again, if you love the design, I don't think you'd be disappointed or maybe you would maybe you would be disappointed i think i think some of these things like within the brand you're like oh yeah well if their dresses are 400 then the tops need to be around 100. yeah if it was a set that was like 200 for the two i would buy that but yeah the set all up is like 400 dollars and i think yes. i'd rather just buy the dress yes yeah, definitely yeah. these are the sort of brands where i think you have to be very selective about the pieces that you choose mm. and then once you get those pieces you'll you'll be very happy but just be selective. Yeah. Don't get things uh, willy-nilly. <laughs> if you're cash to burn and you're a Love and Lemons fan, like, yeah, it's cute, why not? But yeah. like, I think if you try to pick like one piece, I wouldn't pick this particular one person. So there's always this. So this yeah. is, that's cute. This is really sweet. I really liked this color. I love mint. I think it's a beautiful color. It's got exactly the same sequined embroidered flowers as what these two have. And also it's got the same argyle kind of knit. So I'll pop this one on. Yeah. Okay, so this top, obviously from the same sort of matching set as these ones. This is not as nice as I thought it was going to be. It's a little bit, actually not a little bit, it's like a lot itchy. I don't know if I'm particularly sensitive to certain fabrics, but I feel like there's ants crawling all over my skin. I feel like uh, I've gone camping and they've busted through the bottom of my tent and they're snacking on me. That's a nightmare. Uh, yeah, nightmare. That doesn't it's sound great. I, can't wait to get out of this. I'll talk to myself for you guys so you can see. It's really, really, really uncomfortable. You want me to check the price for you? <laughs> yes, please. Probably $400. It's 210 Okay, yeah, no, don't buy it. <laughs> I mean, unless you have like iron skin, yeah. <laughs> don't buy it because it's so, uh, it's so uncomfortable. Um, I'll tell you guys about the skirt though because I'm obsessed. I love that skirt. This skirt is one of the most incredible skirts I've ever tried in my entire life. The last haul from the Iconic that I posted, I got quite an expensive skirt, a denim skirt in that video, and everyone was obsessed with it, as was I, but it was really expensive, and I ended up returning it because I couldn't justify the expense. And now I find myself in the same predicament where this is a beautiful skirt, and it's so expensive. It's, it's so <laughs> stunning, and the belt detail is like, it's built yeah. in. Yeah, and it's like built so in belt. Heavy. We've got little stars and studs, and also the way that it fits flares out in the perfect way, and it sits at such a nice height. And when I saw it on the website, I just I could not stop myself. It was like an involuntary, just like oh, I gotta have it. At least I gotta try it, and then maybe woefully send it back <laughs> because it's like five hundred and something dollars. It's five hundred and eighty-one. That's an insane amount of money. You know, back when we could travel, I could get return flights to Japan for that. <sighs> it is it is really nice. Oh my God, what brand is it? Uh, Retrofit? Retrofit? I have heard of this brand before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I love it. So if you guys saw, I posted a pretty little thing haul a while ago, and I got a pink skirt that's got studs on it. And I wear that a lot to this day. Actually, if you saw my Wish Shoe haul, <laughs> I was wearing it in that video. That was like, 
$30 or something and I get so many compliments on it. Every time I wear it in a video, people are like, where did you get your skirt? And I don't feel guilty saying to them, well, it's from Pretty Little Thing and, and they can get it for 30 bucks or whatever. But people are gonna see me wearing this and they're gonna go, Alex, I love your skirt, where's it from? Oh, well, it's from um, Retrofade, you know, it's just 500 and something dollars and they're gonna be like, <laughs> that like video essay that became really popular, the Tiffany Berg one, which is like, you're not relatable anymore. It's like, you keeping this skirt makes you up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the turning point. <laughs> That's the turning point. And it's like, Alex is really relatable until she bought a $581 skirt. Okay, I have to say, it's really nice. The only thing I will say is that it's not trendy, but I wouldn't say it's like, it's a pretty specific piece. If it was a plain denim skirt, it might not feel as worth it, but I'd be like, oh, you're gonna yeah. wear that for life. Yeah, you're right. So the way that it does up, we've got this little built-in belt, which I think is really nice. When you put belts through belt holes, sometimes it doesn't sit nicely and this is built in here and when you do it up it just cinches you in enough at the waist. Also the belt has little details on it. It's got this kind of like embossed detailing on it all the way up here, all the way around here. The little stars and the studs, they feel like they're made quite well too. I don't think they're going to fall off anytime soon. They're not riveted on but they've got little claws on the back of them and I think they're pretty sturdy. Ah, oh, I just... Does it have pockets? Oh, no. oh no. Oh, well, it's going back. <laughs> I don't know if it needs pockets though, because I think because it's so like streamlined, that's what makes it really gorgeous because to me. Because it's streamlined. Oh, yeah, because yeah, it's so it is, felt. It's very streamlined. It's pretty. Oh, I love it. Mm. It's a lot of money. If we were also lucky enough to be married to Elon Musk, perhaps <laughs> we would keep, uh, lucky is an interesting word to use. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I, if money meant nothing. If I was Kendall Jenner. <laughs> If we were like absurdly wealthy, almost unethically wealthy, I think this would be a great thing to have and ride in my Tesla with. But uh, alas, it's so nice. But it's, it's so just, nice. It's just like the extra couple hundred. For me, I'm like, it's just the extra couple hundred on top of the like five hundred dollars. But if it was like three hundred, I would be like, yeah. maybe keep it. Yes. Yeah. I think the fact that it's like double that, I'm a bit like, oh. I'm gonna look online and see if I can find yeah. it somewhere for less. Actually, to be fair though, so the prices that you're looking at there, the price that it was advertised, but we did use honey and we saved money. Yes, and we can't see on this specific it doesn't, thing. It doesn't itemize per item what you save with mm -hmm. honey. It just takes the cart total and saves you 20% or whatever. Mm -hmm. I did save a bit of money on it. But that means that it's like a $700 skirt or something. That's really cursed. No, 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 no. That, that price is what it was advertised at. So the price, oh, yeah, honey, oh. doesn't, honey doesn't reduce the itemized prices. It just reduces the cart oh. total. Yeah, so it would have been, oh. I would have probably paid 20% less than the 500 and something. So it's, so it's still, still 500. 500. <laughs> Yeah, I, it, okay, it's amazing. Let's, let's just let's take it off. On. The longer I wear it for, the more I'm going to want to. Can I try the ant top? The, this? Yeah, let me try on the, 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 the itchy, the itchy ant, ant top. top. Okay. I don't think it's that itchy. I think it's fine. You think it's fine? Yeah, okay. It's, well, it's a little itchy, but not that itchy. I think I'm fine. That looks so cute with that skirt. I quite like it. I didn't think I'd like the green, but I kind of yeah, like it. Lovely. Yeah, I'm just vibing here in the room on my own. So this dress is by the brand Alice and Olivia. I'd never heard of it before, but when I saw the model wearing it, I was like, that's beautiful. I don't normally wear hot pink. I'm more so the cool toned pinks for me. Look, every so often I don't mind a little bit of a Barbie moment and that is what this is serving me. This is beautiful. It's made so well. This is 95% wool and then like 5% nylon or something like that. Really soft, so comfortable, not itchy. It's so strange how my body reacts differently to certain fabrics. I can put on some woolen sweaters and I'm really, really itchy. Or like that one I just wore that wasn't wool, but it was like whatever it was ants. I reacted badly to that. This, not reacting at all. I guess it's just how they manufacture it, how they treat the fabric. This is so cozy. I could wear this on a plane for 12 hours and to be fair, the price of this would probably pay for a plane ticket to take me somewhere 12 hours away. See, I don't remember the exact figure. Do you want me to check for you? Yeah, can you check? Yeah. Oh, wow! I don't know about this one. That's so nice! <laughs> that dress is, what's your guess? 400? <laughs> What? It's 650. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Well, yeah. It looks oh. like fancy. It's it so looks nice. luxe. And you said it was made of wool, right? It's made of wool. Um, but $650. You know what? It's interesting though. When you look at how certain designers 
do their draping. I have a friend that's a fashion designer and she puts so much time into draping her garment and she will do weeks worth of work on like, maybe I'll put it this way and stand back and then like sew it like yeah. that and see how it fits the models and like, no, it's not right. Go back to the drawing board and then they drape it in a different way. Mm -hmm. It's got a seam around here where the top sort of merges into the skirt part. And I believe that this little seam is supposed to sit so that it creates kind of like a loose fit on the top. It's it was so something pretty. like that with the model. It's giving me like Elle Woods. This is the kind of thing that a character in a movie would wear and you wouldn't know how it's With their chihuahua going off to get her law yeah, degree. Yeah, it's really <laughs> cute. I think it's definitely pricey, but I actually see to me compared to that skirt, which I love. But this, I'm like, this is a really classic design. It's just a pink dress. You could wear this forever. Yeah. Still really expensive. Though. Still really expensive. <laughs> I feel like all of this is just like, yeah, it's still really expensive though. You know what? A lot of these things that I like, I'm just gonna stalk them online and try to find it either <laughs> secondhand. Because so many people will buy a designer piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, in yeah. a Facebook group. There's an Australian brand called Scandal and Theodore, which is beautiful. My yeah. friend used to work there and I used to get discounts. So now that she's gone, I'm in the Facebook group and I just stalk it and I've bought a lot of pieces. Things that were $600 new and I've got them for $200. I don't mind waiting a year or two. You know what's funny? I've mentioned this a few times before. These Jeffrey Campbell boots. Uh, I waited like three years. Yeah. I stalked eBay for years until I found them and I got them for a lot less. And they were all scuffed up and damaged. The person that wore them wore them a lot. Uh, maybe fell over in them multiple times too. But I don't mind. If I found a second hand and had a bit of peeling or something, I really wouldn't care. Yeah, yeah, so I, sure. I don't mind stalking the internet and trying to find this but that much money up front I'm a bit hesitant yeah I'm a little bit it's hesitant. textbook like designer investment piece yeah. like if I had I don't but if, if you had that honey if, money, I, if I had the if I had that honey money um <laughs> if I had that desire to spend a certain amount on the design piece but it's just it, feel it Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, I'll, I'll try that on. You're gonna try it on? <laughs> Let me, yeah, I wanna yeah. look at the photo of the model. Do I think it's as nice? It looks the same. Look at how it's sitting. Look at how he's sitting. <laughs> she look. might be wearing a size up. Oh, look, she's wearing a gold chain with it. I have a gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> you tell them about what you're wearing. Okay, so this set is from LPA. It's got this really aggressive slit on the side that's giving me Angelina Oscar's leg. I don't know. I do wear like knit sets like this. It's just such a bizarre, it's giving me like sexy Dolores Umbridge. Sexy Dolores Umbridge. Look at it. Tell me you don't think it's sexy Dolores Umbridge. I, okay, I do With see it. With this button. I pretend I do not see it. Yeah, well, I try to pretend I do not see it, but I can't help but see it. I don't think I look bad in it. I just think it's like such a bizarre, like where am I wearing it? See, this is what I found with the House of Sunny two-piece yeah. sets from another video where you wear the two piece and you're like, oh, that's a bit much. But if you maybe put on the, the white skirt again or something with uh, that. I don't like the top, I have oh, to say. Oh, really? I, I don't. love the top. I think it's the jewel. It's a bit I like- I love that. Oh, I'm showing you I think jewel. it's a little bit like chachki for me. Like what what bit... does that mean? I think that's really cute. It's pretty. I think it's a bit oh, much for beautiful. me personally, oh, but I, I think it's it. cute. I Yes. I love it, but not for me. <laughs> Skirt on its own is also nice, but I just think it's like, it's just okay. I have other stuff like this, which I'm sure is nowhere near as much. Although I think LPA is a little bit slightly more affordable brands. Let me check the price. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was going to be like $150 per piece, but it's $235 for the top and $235. So they're the same price for each piece. That's a $500 set. I think that's too much. That's a lot. I think that's too much for this one. But sorry. this reminds me of marshmallows for some weird reason. I feel like if you took marshmallows and turned them into clothing, that's I, what this would I think if I was going to pay $235 for this sweater, I'd want it to be a bit more classic. The sleeves, this has like got some padding or something in there. Goes to show uh, that we love pastels, but we've got that little bit of a slightly <laughs> different taste. Because yeah, yeah, I'm frothing over this and I can't wait to try I it on. It's okay. I, the skirt, I'm kind of liking the skirt with the slip. I have a skirt very similar to this from like Princess Polly that was like 50 bucks. Yeah, your blue skirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your blue skirt's lovely. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's definitely a little bit nicer. Like the material's softer, it's a bit more thick. It's got this nice texture, but it. Mm. Yeah. So my dress, now that I've put the chain with it, I've blinged myself up mm. and I looked at myself in the mirror a bit more. I really love it. Yeah. I really love it. I really love the skirt, but also there are like $100 difference and I think that this is probably more worth it. The skirt is stunning. I wonder if some of their more like simple skirts would be a little bit less expensive. You know what? I feel like I could do a DIY and try to make this skirt. That's a video that I've been wanting to do for ages is like DIYing yeah. designer clothes and I think that if I could find a really nicely fitting A-line denim skirt. Mm. You can just get these things from a craft store mm. and uh, you can probably find 
a denim belt with these sort of buckles and then maybe take it apart and sew it on. I reckon that is a project that I could try. Oh, made in Italy? Wow. If I could advocate for you to keep one of these pieces, I think this would probably be the one. You reckon this is the one? I think it's the most, maybe I'm just too practical, but I think it's the most like practical thing to keep. Yes, true. All right, well, oh, there's only one more thing. Yes, <gasps> We're at thing. the end. Is there anything you want to try on? Down. Ooh, uh, no, I'll try this. You want to try this? Yeah, I okay. will avoid my face, I'm so scared. <laughs> I love that. You look incredible in that. So nice. It's so nice. Oh, I didn't. It does so. You look, like, <laughs> you look like a supermodel. You look insane. It's so cool. I feel like a supermodel. You need to keep this one. <laughs> I don't know what the price is, but you need to keep it. It doesn't matter what the price is. It's, it's classic. <laughs> it's a beautiful classic jumpsuit, oh. and you look incredible in it. <laughs> So you know why I bought this? Every so often, since the panini started, I've been partaking in little sprinklings of keeping up with the Kardashians. I never yeah. I never watched the Kardashians in the past, but then I, I, I ran out of shows to watch. Content well ran dry. I saw Chloe wearing a jumpsuit, a denim jumpsuit, mm. and she looked just unbelievably yeah. good. I was obsessed. Ever since I saw her wearing that, I was like, I need a denim jumpsuit. And uh, I've got a denim jumpsuit from Yes Style. It's more like overall, so it doesn't have sleeves. Mm -hmm. It's just got little sort of straps. This is like... And I really liked that, but also because that's Asian sizing, it was a little bit too small for my torso. Mm -hmm. So it always sort of pulled on me here. But this is stretchy. This denim is really stretchy. Like it's, it's, it's perfect. It's so nice. And you guys know, I'm obsessed with flared pants. Uh, yeah. My most worn pair of jeans, ever in my whole life is not these uh, it's, it's uh those you know those black flared ones i got from fashion nova yeah, yeah, yeah. and then my second most worn pair these are a brand called la america and these have a really nice big flare on them too and when i try flared jeans on i'm really fussy about where the flare starts and the angle the you know the, when yeah. the flare comes out like this and it needs to be on this trajectory and that and it needs to pinch <laughs> in here on the knees and like there's a very specific yeah, formula yeah, yeah, yeah. for flared pants and this this meets it and I'm, They're perfect. I'm so happy. This is perfect. I'm obsessed. I take back. I think this dress is pretty, but this is like everything. How much do you think it is? Oh God. Hmm. 750? 270. Fuck off! Yeah, saying? it's just yeah. show me your moo, moo I had a feeling. I was like, I feel like show me your moo is like medium. By the way, that's the brand. She's not telling you oh, to show, show her, me her my moo. moo. <laughs> show me your moo, moo Alex. <laughs> the brand is called Show Me Your Moo Moo. And this is 200, 272 Australian dollars. That's 100% worth it. hundred percent. I, I would think it would be like at least 300. Oh god, I, I, I thought like 700 keep, something. Keep, 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 keep. keep. Yeah. This is the winner of the day that's, for me. That's everything. Also, that is everything on you. Um, that I, looks so nice. It's a little on short you. on the back. Is like, it? I feel like it's a small. So I look you'd... like an ice dancer. Oh, I feel like it's like a really expensive one. A figure skater. I'm like, sorry, I can't make it today. Daddy's taking me to the chalet. Like that's kind of <laughs> no, but that's what this is. But it, it's really gorgeous. If I bought it in the medium, I think I'd like it a bit more. But it kind of it does the little like thing. Yeah, bit. it does the thing. We just have different torsos. Yeah, you know, it's almost like we're different people. Oh, funny that. Wild, crazy. So funnily enough. We entered into this video wanting to review Love Shack Fancy and mm. For Love and Lemons because they're pastel yeah. brands, pastel designer brands that we were obsessed with. Palleted. But for me, I've come away liking different brands and mm. not pastel items. I think for you, you've come away loving that For Love and Lemons dress. That For Love and dress. Lemons dress is like, yeah, yeah, mm. I'm gonna buy it. So uh, I think as far as things that I am going to hang on to and not return, I'm definitely keeping this jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. I would like to keep that dress. But also, I'm going to scour the internet and see if I can find a marinade on this bag. Yeah, and also the skirt. I really like the skirt yeah. too, but I'm going to think about that too. Yeah. But uh, the other things for me, I did really like this skirt. I just really yeah. liked the fit of this skirt. And when I was looking on the website, all of the Love Shack Fancy skirts had a beautiful Great. shape to them. But that's so, like the same price as that whole jumpsuit. Do you know what I mean? Actually, it's more. Yeah. It's like a hundred dollars. That's more. where I'm kind of like, obviously it's a different thing totally, but you can't put a price on like fit. <laughs> And oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Awooga. <laughs> I'm an, I'm an, uh, woo. Yeah. It's really, you look stunning. Thank it's you. like everything. It's yeah. everything. All right, so uh, that's it. That's all of the items we have to show you. If you'd like to hang around for a little bit, uh, we're just going to sort of have some fun and try. Rapid on, fire. Rapid fire, try on some things because I want to try on that dress that you really liked and I want to try on the pink frillies. Yes. And if there's anything you want to try, do you want to try this? I want to see because you said it's stretchy. I don't know if it'll be stretchy enough. Okay, let's give it a go. All right, rapid fire. I really like this. It's really cute. I don't think I can justify the expense because <laughs> this was pretty pricey, wasn't it? I think for what it is, it's like a 
five hundred dollar outfit. Yeah, I think I oh, think you can so find soft. something. It's so soft. You know what I said? I like it way more oh, on you. It's so soft. It's so sweet. You look really pretty in it. Do okay, you? yeah, this one definitely suits you more. I think. Oh, I love it. I, I really like it. I, I hello Spanx. I don't think I'll keep it, but I, it's so soft. Like I said, marshmallows. If you took marshmallows and turned them into clothing, <laughs> oh, it's just yeah, you look like a pastel marshmallow. Oh, cute. Yeah, you look great in that. Thank you. It looks really, really good on oh, you. Oh, it's so sweet. You have to show them that. I'm shocked this fits me. You look unbearably good. Your figure. <laughs> Oh. It does so much. I want to buy oh. this. I want to buy this too. This looks great. Wow. It's really good. It's better on you. I don't think so. I think look it looks equally curves. nice on Turn both of us. Turn it to the side. Oh, wow. I think it looks equally nice on both of us. But I'm really shocked. I kind of thought this wouldn't fit. I thought I'd have to like size up. But um, yeah, it looks good in the small. I love this too. I'm gagged. This is nice. I'm dead. Sisterhood of the Travelling Jumpsuit. Wow. I would actually buy this, I think. Under $300 and it's a complete outfit. It's, I can't believe how good you look. I think it's really... <laughs> give, <laughs> give him a walk. Like walk up and then... To... <laughs> oh, bye panic, I'm not even by. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's really cute. I feel like, um... Wow. I feel like Gidget from Chip and Dale. <laughs> what? She's like a mechanic, oh. but she's like a mouse. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm feeling like that vibe. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. I oh. It infuriates me how good you look. <laughs> yeah, we're different jean sizes too. We are. I'd be, Do you normally wear in jeans? Uh, a waist 27 to 28, so yeah. a size 9 to 10 in jeans. And I normally wear a 6. Yeah. So we're definitely different jean sizes and yeah, that yeah. still looks really good. It looks really nice. Oh, we should both buy it. Yep. Just start walking around like twinning. <laughs> the twins from The Shining, where are they now? <laughs> I really like this. This is sweet. I think it looks much better on you. I don't think that I will keep this. This isn't one of those things like the jumpsuit or the pink dress where I'm just like dying over it. It is lovely. I think if, if you really, really like the style and it's something that you lust after, you will adore it. I think it looks really cute on you too. It's cute. I think you need it in a small. I think you need to size down a bit. It's not cinching you in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but also if I got it in a small, I still don't know. I, I wouldn't fall in love with it. The sleeves are incredible, truly incredible, majestic, in fact. But I don't think I need this, but I think you need this. So I think, I, this think is... I need it. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> that's it, guys. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, honey, for sponsoring me so that I was able to buy these things. It's a lot of money to fork up just to try something to see if you may or may not want it. Yes. And also, like when you think about how long it takes to receive the items and then return them and then wait for the refund to process. For a lot of people, even if they bought one of these things, that's a huge amount it's, of money. It's a lot of money. So I understand why people money. would be hesitant and also because it's quite a pricey sort of thing, I don't think there's that many reviews about these things mm -hmm. out there. So yeah. I really appreciate that Honey was willing to work with me on this one and I hope that you guys like some of the items. Uh, if you do like any of them and you use the links down below. Lucy told me about this thing, what's it called? Yeah, um, reward style. Reward style. Yeah. So I think if you buy any of the things using the links, I'll make commission. Maybe if I make a bit of commission, that can justify keeping the pink dress. Uh. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll see. With that, thank you Lucy for coming along and trying on these things. I think it's always nice to show two different body shapes because sometimes some of these garments, you look at them on the model and you think it's gonna look like that on you and then you receive it and you're like well I'm not as tall as the model or you know I have bigger boobs or whatever it's nice to see two body shapes I really appreciate you coming along and helping me out so uh, with that thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time Mwah! wait thanks wait I forgot something I also got shoes they were just sitting in the box over there and I completely forgot they're feeler sneakers and they were 105 Australian dollars for sneakers from one of my favorite brands I think that's worth it so they're not quite pastel but they're still color block which I really really like I don't mind that this is kind of like a hot pink because sometimes the pastel pink like I've got a few feeler sneakers I've got like rainbow ones and I've got pastel pink and lilac but I don't have any of this sort of warmer tones so these are great look look at them that was quite a reasonable price for these 105 dollars like that's great for a pair of really good sneakers they're so cute. they're so cute they're like chunky boys they're so comfy i live for feeling i know they're so good